Hello, you guys. Welcome to Street Politics with Talisha. And I just wanted to talk to you about the impeachment. Sham, scam, unfair process. Now, it's some things that I just want you to look at from a partisan perspective that you don't, whether you like take Donald Trump out the equation, you have to understand this. The Democrats in the media has been telling us, the American people, for months that Trump did a shakedown, bribery, and quid pro quo, quid pro quo. He pressured um, Ukraine into, uh, he allegedly have to pressure Ukraine into um, making them want to investigate um, Joe Biden's son. This is my thing. Remind you, for months, they have been saying this. For months and months and months and months and months. Since this happened back in, whatever this happened back, I can't even remember. They have been telling us that he committed bribery. First, it was quid pro, quid pro quo. That was the main thing that sparked the investigation. They said Donald Trump, President Trump committed quid pro quo. That's what got the investigation started. Then they started using words like he did a shakedown, like a mafia style. Then quid pro quo, that went out the window and they started saying he committed bribery. So now Nancy Pelosi, because she's the one that can put the articles on the floor for a vote and, and, and investigation, whatever. She put the articles on the floor. These people charged him with abuse of power and obstruction of justice. Abuse of, abuse of power against Congress and, and obstruction, obstruction of justice. Congress is not. But this is my thing. Why are there not, why are the Democrats in the House not charging him with quid pro quo? And bribery. This is what they said he did. He withheld aid and told them, if you don't investigate, basically, if you don't investigate them, I'm not going to give it to you. So why in the articles of impeachment, they are not charging this man with that? They charging him with not cooperating with Congress. All administrations don't cooperate with Congress, especially if you're on the opposite end. Not cooperating with Congress is something that they do. This is something that they all do. So now they have set the bar to where if they feel like you did anything, we can impeach you. And especially if we got, we have um, enough votes in the house to get it. So if it's democratically ran, Republican ran, as long as they have the, enough votes, they can impeach the sitting president. So now, because the, it used, the bar used to be very, very high to where you really can't do, can't impeach a president unless he commits some type of crimes or just his death. But the Democratic Party has set the bar low. Now, if a Republican Congress come along and it's a Democratic president, Believe you me, they're going to be petty and do them the same way. And I think that's unfair. That's just like, okay, you tell me I committed robbery. You told the whole world I committed robbery. The media is going around saying I committed robbery and this is that. So when I finally go to the grand jury, you come back with, um, Petty theft, you know what I'm saying, or something that don't even have. I wouldn't say petty. I would say um, menacing or something like that. You know what I'm saying. So it's not what they hyped up everybody to believe that I did, and they came with some other thing that has nothing to do with anything. The charges they charged him with has nothing to do with the phone call that he had. 
Now this is another thing I want y'all to understand. People, when you running for Congress, they get people to dig up dirt on you. This is, this is, that's nothing new. The Pfizer application warning that they got for Trump with the Russian collusion, the Democratic Party, the firm they use, they is, they not from America. I think they not from America. Um, they not from over here. So that's a Ru that's not a Russian. That's a foreign entity. How they got the fight? So it's just like Hillary Clinton was able to do that. Joe Biden was able to sit on 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 a platform on something that he was talking about and tell them that he not doing this unless they drop the charges against said this and said he ain't gonna sit them nothing. He said this out. Now he said that out his own mouth. And the people over there, they did get fired. Barack Obama caught on tape telling another foreign entity that he can do more after the election. So the Democrats over here running around like they're holier than thou like they're a bunch of saints and trying to paint Tre President Trump as the boogeyman. Now they got what they wanted. They've been wanting to impeach Trump since he came down the escalators when he was announcing that he was running. They was not going for him. They didn't want him to win, period. The FBI saying that they text, texting each other, Lisa Page and Peter Shrug, they texting each other saying that basically they're going to do, that he's not going to be president, they're going to do this and they're going to do that. So it's okay for them to do their dirt. And if you think he did something, and they had this aid. They gave Ukraine they, this, this 40, this is another thing. They got all this money to give other countries aid but they don't have no money to get these homeless people up out the streets. They don't have money to, to fix up these school systems, pay these teachers, get them retrained, get new tech. They don't have money for stuff like that. But they have millions of billions of dollars to send, send to other countries. I just don't get that. Why do we have money to do for everybody else but us? Why do we get to send money everywhere else across the world, but we don't have any money for anything? Make that make sense to me. Now, whether you like Trump or not, take that out of the equation. The whole thing is this. What they bombarded down our throats for months is nothing that they charged the man with. It has nothing to do with anything. Now, Nancy Pelosi says she's not even going to send it to the Senate. How on earth is she not going to send the impeachment to the Senate? Until she see who they going to call, what they going to do, and who they going to have in charge or whatever. Until she feel like it's, that basically, she's going to make sure that it's up to her standards. Then she is send it over. And she don't want to talk about the impeachment. Y'all been talking about impeachment since 2016. What do you mean you don't want to talk about this? You just you just impeached a president for not cooperating with Congress. Now you don't want to talk about it. No, you need to. We gonna talk about this. Now you don't want to send that over? What sense does that make? Why don't Nancy Pelosi want to send the articles of impeachment over to... She don't run. You don't run the Senate. You don't get to say what goes on in the Senate. Did the Senate have any say in this impeachment trial that you did? No. You didn't show the Senate what you was going to do, who you was going to have in charge, who this and who that. You didn't do that with them. So who are you to say that they got to basically be approved by you? 
But see, the American people is, but then again, let me backtrack on American people. Because yesterday, it, it showed me that we have a lot of uneducated dummies. That's all, they, they all in politics. They think they know what's going on, and they don't even know how the damn government works. You have rappers, blue check, famous people, posting as if, because he got impeached yesterday, like he about to leave office in 30 seconds. That is not even how government works. How don't people know how government works that these people went to school? But you want to put an LGBTQ curriculum in school. No, these people need civics. Especially the ones that's running their mouth and acting like they hate Trump and don't even know what the hell going on. The level of ignorance I seen yesterday was embarrassing. It was nothing but straight embarrassing. Embarrassment. That these people don't even know how it works. You have to, the Senate has to impeach him for him to be removed. But if you know how the government work, and if you know who in charge, you would know Donald Trump is not going nowhere. It's a Republican ran Senate. The Democrats run the House. They have enough people in the house to push whatever they want. The Senate has enough people in the house to push and do whatever they want to do. No, these Republicans is not going to cross over and cross Trump. Know that. Now they need 20 with all the, the Democrats and I think even the independents that's in the Congress, I mean in the Senate, they will still need 20 Republicans to remove him. That will not happen. So you get your hopes up high. You can make your make your little goofy post that shows you how unintelligent you is. You even had people saying, he impeached, so what we gonna do, bring Barack Obama back or Bill Clinton? These fools don't even know. Say if the Senate do impeach him. You getting Mike Pence. Do your research on Mike Pence. You impeach him, you get Mike Pence. It's such a waste. I think it's a waste of time to impeach somebody when you know it's not going to go in in the other in the in the Senate. But all the Democrats did was do this to put a stain on his on his um on his legacy you know what i'm saying but the thing is people see this though people are divided about this with bill clinton and with nixon we seen well i mean yeah we seen i didn't see with nixon but I mean, but people seen that he did something wrong. He committed, had them, I don't know, broken, whatever he did. Bill Clinton lied under oath. He committed perjury. But you have Donald Trump because he said something on a phone call that y'all didn't like and y'all impeached him. He didn't perjure himself. He released the transcripts. And he said what he said. In the trans all you have to do is read the transcripts. But you people are so misinformed because you think you like you don't like nobody because y'all seeing these people on social media. Instead of having your own free thinking mind, you don't even have your own mind. Ninety-nine percent of the people that was supposed to act like Trump well, don't even know what's going on. If I said the party's names in Ukraine that was on the phone call or the pre president, they wouldn't even know. But all you know is impeach. Trump is impeached and he's about to get out of office, and we can get Barack Obama and Bill Clinton. So 
stupid. Let me tell you how stupid the people are. You have a lot of people pushing agendas. The Shade Room is mostly predominantly a black audience. They went on with the shenanigans. And they level of recan, what they posted was showing people that was breaking it down in the format of how it goes. But before then, it was, oh yeah, he's out of here. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, Barack Obama coming back. The level of, go in these comments and you can see the, 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 the level of ignorance. The level of ignorance, but they, they don't like Trump. That right there goes to show that y'all don't like people because of what somebody else said. You don't like him off of what somebody else say. Because every time I ask somebody, they say they don't like, you have some people that I have, that I can be like, okay, well, you know what I'm saying? I understand that's your personal views, but you have some other people don't even know what the hell they talking about. I was in the gas station this morning. Get my lottery tickets. I go to the same gas station. So one of the guys in there, they know I'm a Trump supporter. And they was like, w so what you think? Of? He was like, let me pick your brain and ask you because I know you know. What's going to happen with Trump? Like, what what, what, like, what, like, what, actually happened? And say, this is an older black man. It had to be, he like in his 60s. So I was explaining to him. So another guy that was in the store, he was like, he, he got in on our conversation was like, yeah, but did you see what Trump said yesterday? He said, he, I forget exactly what he said, but he was referring to what Trump said at the rally about, about the, the, congressman, the congressman that passed away. I said, that is not what he said. He was like, oh, but what well, he said, but he just said what he said so boldly. It said what he said was true. I'm like, that's not what he said. I said, all he said was, he don't know if he looking up or down. Basically, referring, no, he said, Trump said, the man in hell and this, this, that. I said, that's not what he said. He referred to, he said, he don't know if he's looking down on this or looking up from this. But you done twisted what the man said. Now you in the gas station saying it so boldly is if, if this is true. Do you see the manipulation and how misled people are? You understand what I'm saying? Like, where did you hear that at? And I didn't even like when Trump said that. And I said that because we got enough going on. And that's all they talked about today. They barely wanted to talk about the impeachment. All they wanted to talk about, Trump talked about a dead man. When that same dead man told him he hoped he burned in hell, no one said nothing. You had somebody on TV today basically saying they gonna stall out, they not gonna give it into, I think it was Jake Tapper, like, well, how long are you gonna do this? Everybody like, well, how long are we gonna put up with this? You have a CNN, somebody that works for CNN asked you, well, what, wait a minute. I mean, how long you think you'll be able to play this out? We gonna play it out until the city some some he hangs himself. Now you know the, the right ran with that. Oh, if, if somebody else said that about hanging, but this is the the, the dumb jump. Y'all not gonna send over the impeachment until he, I guess, you referring to about him hanging himself doing something else again. Let me tell y'all something. I wouldn't be surprised if around March or April they come out with another impeachment. I'm telling you this, people. I am telling you this. And then Nancy Pelosi said up there, it's a sad and somber day for people. And we don't, we, we sad, we this, this, that. But her members are posting videos having impeachment parties 
doing videos saying, yes, I'm going to do, I'm, we going to impeach him just this day. Ain't nobody, no, listen, no one is sad that's, that's, that's doing this. This is what they wanted to do. This is what they wanted to do. But, but has history has shown impeachment comes with consequences. Because you have people, constituents, that don't even like Trump. That didn't even vote for Trump. They don't like this impeachment. So you have to deal with this come November. November, the people will decide if they want four more years of Trump. And I'm just going to be honest with you. He is going to be reelected. You want to know why he got re he's going to be reelected? Because of the, the bar they set so low for impeachment. So they have to, the Democrats done dug a hole they done dug down so far in, in the hole that it's like they not going to recover from this for a long time. Now, I'm not saying I, I, for sure, for sure, but the way things are looking, but November 2020, we will know. We will see. And that's my thoughts, people. Please do not listen to the media. Pick up a government book. Even some of that stuff in there might be lies. I would say Google. Google's starting to be a liar. But look. Ask your history teacher. Ask your government teacher. Ask your civics teacher. How this goes. Because people was acting like something yesterday. It was just awful to watch. And that's just my opinions and my thoughts. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this. Thank you for tuning in with Street Politics with Talisha. And if I don't come back home, which I think I am going to come back home, because I wanted to explain the, the bill, I mean, what's going on here with the party. But if I don't, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Have a happy new year. Enjoy the holidays. Leave politics out of here. And it is what it is. Goodbye.